Is your name Lubin? Sycamore, happy Monday. It's the last month of the school year. Today is May 1st, 2023, and welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Sam. And hi, I'm Vector. We're so glad to be here on the daily video announcements with all you guys. Now, let's please stand, place our hand over our heart, and we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Remember, today is the bus pickup changes to the school. Make sure to know where to meet your bus in the regular spot or if it moved to parent pickup line area. Buses that moved, 27, 47, 73, 65, 22, 39, 14, 35, and 26. Again, look at the map here to see your new bus. All the buses we mentioned will be in the old parent pickup lot on the west side of the building, and you will exit out through the cafeteria door or 31 by Mrs. Hunt's room. Don't forget, also be responsible and clean out your lockers to make room for moving boxes. As always, check your work and school emails throughout the day too. Make the right decisions. As always, be PBIS responsible young adults. Be safe, be respectful, and be problem solvers. And if you see something, say something. We have like four weeks of school left. The 2022-23 school year is closing fast. It's the final countdown! Alright, listen up Sycamore. If you have lost a sweatshirt or jacket, please stop by the Lost and Found this week to look for it. We will be clearing out the Lost and Found next week. As a reminder, if you lose something more valuable like a phone, wallet, or jewelry, please check with Mrs. Namaki in the office. Next up, did, did you know? know? Did you know, though less common than earthquakes, the moon actually has moonquakes too? That's right, moonquakes. Pretty much everyone is interested in space, so this is always a good fact to pull out. Wow, really? That is such a cool fact. Next up, National, National Day. Day. Today is National Mother Goose Day. Anyways, mother geese are the mother of the geese you see in the ponds, in the lakes. National Mother Goose Day on May 1st <laughs> honors the imaginary author of a collection of fairy tarot and nursery rhymes we loved as children. Next up, birthdays. birthdays. Happy birthday to Sophia T, Rua P, and Lucia H celebrating today. We all hope you have an amazing birthday. Now over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements. Most of these are athletic announcements, so if you're an athlete, you need to listen to these announcements so you know where to be or not to be, uh, as the case may be. Softball, your game is canceled and there will be no practice, no softball practice. <coughs> track, track athletes, you will be dismissed at 2.50 and then you will report to the media center. So track athletes, report to the media center after you are dismissed today. Lacrosse, boys will practice from 3.20 to 5 and girls will still play at 5.30 and 6.30. Tennis, the GMC match was canceled today and rescheduled for tomorrow at 9 a.m. Bus will pick the team up at 8 a.m. in front of the school. And last but not least, team pictures have arrived and they are located in the media center, so you can stop by and pick yours up. Thank you very much. That's all we have for today. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Mr. Harris. Now over to Mr. Harris with our Students of the Week. Good afternoon. It's now time to present one of my favorite parts of this is our Students of the Week. So our first Student of the Week is Therun Chadra Mohan. So Therun, come on over. Gonna be on camera there for a minute, buddy. There we go. All right. The one was now nominated by Mrs. Ennis, and he was um, again nominated for being safe, being responsible, being problem solver, and being respectful. Okay. So he gets his certificate, and he'll get his Chick Fil A. There you go. Good job. Good job, buddy. All right. Our next one, you can go, buddy. Uh, <coughs> Our next student of the week is Liam Recker. My man, Liam, what's up? Nothing? Okay. Liam's not talking today. All right. So Liam was nominated by Mrs. Kennedy 
All right, so Liam was nominated for being safe, being responsible, being a problem solver, and being respectful. He will get a certificate and some Chick-fil-A. So there you go, Liam. Thanks, buddy. All right, our next student of the week is Gabe Reuter. Gabe was nominated by Mr. Jones, so it really doesn't count as a nomination, but we'll get to that in a minute. All right, and Gabe was also nominated for our PBIS virtues of being safe, responsible, problem solver, and respectful. So here's your certificate, and you get your Chick-fil-A. All right, and last but not least, Kieran McCod. All right, and Kieran was nominated by our very own Mrs. Jarvis. So we're going to make this good because then, if not, she'll add like 25 pounds to my head on the camera or something like that. Uh, Kieran was nominated... <laughs> We're being safe, being responsible, being problem, being a problem solver, and being respectful. And she does a great job helping out here in the studio for video announcements. So there's your certificate, and there's your Chick Fil A. Thank you guys. Hey, you two can be nominated for Student of the Week. Only a couple more weeks left, so get that done. Hey, you guys have a great day. Thanks, Mr. Harris, and great work to our students of the week. Now it's time for the joke of the day. What does a nosy pepper do? I don't know. What? It's jalapeno business! <laughs> Woo! That's a good joke. Be the best extraordinary that you can be, Sycamore, and follow PBIS expectations every day. And for goodness sake, have a wonderful week, eat well, and go, go waves! And now over to Bector with Would You Rather. We'd also like to give a big shout out to our track and tennis athletes going to GMCs. We support you and make sure you represent Sycamore the entire time you're there. Go waves! This is Would You Rather with Mr. Heil. Okay, Mr. Heil, I know that you're a history teacher, but would you rather have the square root of five trash cans or have ten lockers squared? Definitely ten lockers squared. That's a lot of storage space. So I would say ten lockers squared. Okay, thank you. This is Mrs. Shunk. Okay, Mrs. Shunk, would you rather give me a hint? to find one of the flamingos, or would you rather uh, give me a flamingo? I'd rather give you a hint. So what's the hint? The hint is to look inside door frames in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> this is... Mrs. Kennedy. Okay, Mrs. Kennedy. Would you rather eat 16 cakes in the span of five days and win one million dollars? Or would you rather have half a million dollars right now? I'll take the half a million dollars right now. Why? Because I'm gonna get interest on it and make more than half a million dollars. It's gonna be great. Okay. 